This week on Sport Fishing, we're back aboard the Sea Star out of Oceanside, California. And right now, our Captain Joe has us traveling south. We're right along the coast here. We're going to be fishing the cow beds here, looking for calico bass, sand bass, maybe even a white sea bass or two. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. That's a nice vermilion right there. Yeah, this is what fishing's like. I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Star. I'm Captain Joe Cassiola, and we're just out uh, traveling now south of Oceanside Harbor. We're uh, traveling inshore along the coastline, just outside of the, uh, the kelp beds here locally. Um, we're going to be traveling probably another 10 15 minutes here, and then we're, we're actually going to get some lines in the water. Uh, today we're pretty much targeting uh, the calico bass and sand bass. Um, it's, late spring right now and the calico is becoming much more active so hopefully that's one of our target species and um, there might be some other fish in there there could be uh, some uh, barracuda some sand bass uh, there's been some sheep's head and halibut around lately uh, and then also I know yesterday there was some quite large uh, soup fin sharks which kind of really are unusual for the inshore area but they were around too so very shortly here, we're going to get started and uh, see what the day brings us. Thanks. All right. Calico bass. Well, give me next year's bottle, but good start <laughs> here. Here comes my bass. There's my calico. That's measurable size. Live anchovy. All right, let's check him out. Another bass. Go through the gill, save his life. Oh, there's a nice one on the iron. Got something, Jim? Yeah, something. There he is. Ooh, maybe. Thirteen. Got one more to go. That was a fighter, though. Would have been a keeper two years ago. <laughs> there we got another one here on a live bait. I don't think it's going to be legal, but he's stuck in the kelp right there. Get him through the kelp. Here he comes. There he comes, right through that kelp stringer. There he comes. A little, 
little short right here, but nice calico. Got that on a live anchovy. Go ahead and release this guy. While I'm doing that, let's take a little break from the action, go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear we're using for today's trip for the Sea Star. Today in the tackle box, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing aboard the Sea Star today. We're fishing right along the kelp beds, looking for calico bass and sand bass, and hoping for that yellowtail or that big halibut to swim along. But we're targeting the calicos, and because of that, when we're using live bait, you want to use a circle hook. And I like to use a circle hook like this, a much smaller hook, like a size 2, size 4, when you're fishing with small anchovies and you're trying to get just a legal calico. I mean, that's what you want to use is something like this, but again, a smaller size hook. And the reason you want to use a circle hook is because you have to weed through all these short fish. Years ago, a 12-inch calico was legal. Today, it's got to be 14 inches. Because of that, you're going to weed through a bunch of 12, 13-inch fish, and you don't want to hurt those fish. A J-style hook might go too deep in the fish and hurt it. A circle hook, you're going to get them right in the corner of the jaw, be easy to release, and you won't have a problem releasing the fish, not harming it, and you can target those bigger fish. Now, another way to target bigger fish is a fish of bucktail. This is a half ounce B-52 bucktail. For calicos, this is my favorite color, the green and yellow. If I want to target just a big fish, I would put a whole squid on there. But if you're just trying to get those legal 14 inch fish, a small strip of squid works out really good. Cast it out, let it flutter down right along the kelp. The fish will come up and eat it, drive the hook in the fish, and that's all there is to it. These lures work really good for calicos and sand bass, but in this heavy kelp area, they work especially well, catch those calicos. Those are two techniques I would recommend and what we're using here aboard the Sea Star 2. So let's get back on the water, show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. Is that bigger than the last one too? Yeah. <laughs> They're growing. They're growing. There we go. Just got another one. Skipper just made a little move. We're working our way north up toward Oceanside. Still fishing really tight in the kelp. You know, water's getting nice and warm and the bass are really active. The only situation we're having today is trying to get big enough, large enough fish with the limits changing the last year and a half ago. The limits went from 12 inch for being illegal calico to 14 inches. A lot of the calicos we're catching today are 13, 13 and a half. 13 three quarters, but not quite 14. But we do have some on board. So I have a fish right here in the kelp. Let's see if I can get them out of the stringer. I might have to put it in free school. I'm put it in free school right now, see if he swims out. There's my fish. Let's see him, there he comes, right here. There's my fish. A little short again, but this is what we're trying to catch. It's really easy fishing today. Just using a nice, lively, fresh fly bait, a little anchovy, fly lining it, and catch all these you want. Yeah, I know, but this year they're going to do it again. Oh, yeah, they're going to do it again. Oh, nice. Hey, Marco, there's a good one. That might be close, Marco. That's going to be a heartbreaker. Ah, it's almost back. Measurable. Is it? Yeah. Yep. Oh. Oh. Marco's is 13 three quarters. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's what I'm waiting for. Uh-oh, moment of truth. Is it 14? Oh, I really need this job. Keeper, winner. Oh, we have a keeper, Dan. Everyone's catching some nice fish, but Jerry. <laughs> this is Jerry's uh, biggest want, we, fish so we far. We want to measure it. Postage stamp fish. <laughs> Thank you. 
keeper. Yeah. There's a keeper. 14 inch. Got a little bass going here. I'm over somebody here. Let me get around here. We got a little bass going right here. Here it comes. Nice little calico. I don't know what this is for me, like number 15 or something, but only got one legal. There's all the shorts you want. All right, well, let's take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up on these delicious fish that we're catching. Hi, welcome to the galley. I'm on the Sea Star, I'm the chef. My name is Steve Zuniga, and we're gonna do a um, calico enchilada. It's gonna consist of cheese, cilantro, onion, and some diced uh, calico. First, I'm just gonna start with a little butter. Just put it on the grill like this. Get the fish cooked up. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of onion to it just to give it some flavor. And also some uh, Ortega chili, just a little bit to taste. And we're gonna cook our fish, you know, until it changes colors, it's nice and white. And we'll start with these tortillas, and you just kinda wanna soak them in a little bit of oil. If you do in a pan, you just go like this, back and forth. On the grill, you can just lay them on here. You just kind of soften them up a little bit. Now we're gonna add some cheese. To our dish there. I like a little bit of garlic salt, so you can put what you like in there. Kind of cook it a little bit, almost done. Real nice flavor. That green chili gives it a lot of flavor. And then we're just gonna plate it up real quick. It's real simple. Just one at a time. Can't wait the cheese melt. Real nice and easy. Take your fish, just stick it right in the center there. And we're just gonna roll like a little burrito here. And we're just gonna take our enchilada sauce and lay that right over like that. And finish it off with a little bit of cilantro. And if we want to get fancy, we can throw some more cheese on it. There we go. Just like that. That's calico enchiladas with uh, pepper jack cheese, also some white ch or yellow cheddar on the inside. Very good, very easy to do. You just have to uh, chop your ingredients and add accordingly and enjoy it. Thank you. Definitely getting a bit better without a tinker. Oh, on the sea star. You got them coming up.
Sorry, babe. No worries. On the Sea Star, 2014. On the Sea Star, 2014. We can keep them up here or out of the kelp, that's what we want to that's do. Just... Up. And that was way on the bottom. So. Yeah, we never know what it is. That was like a flapper. You never know. See the one. Spending that money. Come on, it's a bat ray. Good practice. Like the way that he just act like it's a tuna. Thing. Practice. It looked like a like a halibut kind of turning over for a second. Yeah. 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 When you get stuff to color, just keep showing me because they're gonna put the line. I'm gonna use this insert shot. Come here, Dan. You got him. Oh, that was fun. Oh, it's a calico. He doesn't have enough sense to stay there. Get the net. Frank, get the net. <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. There it is. There it is. Now I got you. Uh, see? Oh, yeah. They're right here. This is the pot right here. $300. Right? Right? Yeah. And all the calicos were at the top of mid-level and all the sand bass were at the I know what. Hey, Sherry. Oh, you both got the same fish. No, I'm over here. I came off with one. short side but fun to catch I might need a gaff and a harpoon okay oh. another one got one here oh I might lose it I just touched Jerry <laughs> no, that's on you don't blame me there he comes okay, there he is. there's a little one yeah. 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 
Little bass. Little bass. I don't know, this one might be close to legal. Yeah. Nice calico yeah. bass. Could, well, we're hoping. Got that on it. We can go home. <laughs> we can go home. <laughs> Wait a minute, we should have an So this is our 15th season fishing aboard the Sea Star. And beginning of season number 27. Nice beautiful fish here aboard the Sea Star. Fishing along the beach here. Nice fish. Now the sea is legal. Moment of truth. Okay. Drum roll. Ladies and gentlemen, please. Legal! 15 inches. Oh! Yeah. Hey, don't you? I can fish. I can catch a fish. All right, I got lots of fish today. Most of them are short. Only my second legal one of the day. We're going to take a little break from the action here aboard the Sea Star and Captain Joe. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. Do you know how old a calico bass can live to be? Is it 34 years, 15 years, or 42 years? That's right, 34 years. So this week's tip of the week, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how we caught most of the fish today. I'd say about 80%, 90% of the fish today were caught on live anchovies. And when you get a bite like that, it's really important that you use light line, small hooks, and a really good lively bait. You get it close to kelp and you'll catch fish. And that's this week's tip, was to use a small hook and light line, good bait, and you'll catch those fish. Well, I want to thank Captain Joe and the whole crew of the Sea Star. We had a great time today. We caught lots of fish. It was lots of fun. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.